Hello everyone, uh, another like highly requested video from dental hygiene students specifically is polishing tips. Give me polishing tips. So here's the thing. I am not an instructor by any means of dental hygiene. I'm not showing you technique. I'm just showing you some tips that hopefully help when you are stressing out over way too much pol polish happening. I know some people, they keep the saliva ejector in the mouth the whole time and I don't do that. So that's probably not ergonomically the best, but it just, I keep it close to me. And then the other thing, I do not wear a ring or anything. You know how you're, some people do that? I just keep it really close to me on the tray and I literally whoop, knew, you know, each time. So that's just what I do. It works for me, I'm very quick at it. Ergonomically, is that the best? Probably not, I should be wearing a ring, you know? Anyway, this is what I do. I have a trick. My trick is, <laughs> I don't know if it's a trick, but this is what I do. So I don't put too, too much polish. I know a lot of people complain polish gets everywhere. I mean, I fill the cup. I've seen some people put so much, like a, like a mountain of it in there. You don't need that much in my opinion. So what I do too is I kind of wipe, I wipe it on the teeth first. Does that make sense? So now it's like kind of there. Instead of like when you just start and it flies everywhere. Do you know what I'm talking about? So we don't want it to fly. So I wiped it on and then I just kind of go. And you know, you, I mean, I'm sure you learn in school, you're supposed to use the, uh, the outside, like the flare, flaring the cup. You're not pressing down like that. That's not doing anything. You're using the sides of the cup, you know, flaring it. So I go around once and then I do one, two, three. That's what I do. Around once, one, two, three. That wasn't that great because I didn't get close because I'm trying to like be in the camera but you know like get right up there by the gum line one two three see how there's not even that much paste let me just give him a little rinse give me give me a little rinse I'm gonna show you one more thing when I rinse I always keep the suction in the corner go ahead and close so my other tip is if you accidentally put on way too much like this, like that's way too much, I think. Like what are you doing with that? That's gonna fly everywhere, you know what I mean? But sometimes it happens, you put way too much on. Let's do the bottom ones for this. So I still try to like wipe it like this, but you know how this happens and you're doing this and it like gets and you're like, oh, it's on the side of my, what do you do? So I've learned something fun. You can actually put it right on the inc incisal edge and go like that and look, it comes off and then you can like re-scoop it. Know what I'm saying? Try not to even put yourself in this position. One, two, three. But if you do, one, two, three, then you're able to. And then, okay, so here I am actually holding it there. I didn't even realize that. That was subconscious. Go ahead and close. One more time. Close. Okay, so that was subconscious. I guess I do when I'm spraying the water. I put the suction right there when I was spraying it, but I, I always thought I'd stay in the corners of the mouth. Anyway, regardless, my biggest thing is I try to use minimal amount. Uh, a little goes a long way. You know, it depends which brand you're using, but the brand I'm using, it, it does a good job polishing. If you, you like to use a lot or you accidentally use a lot, use a little trick where you can flare it off the cup right onto the incisal edge, so then you waste it and then it doesn't get everywhere. If it does spray the patient, just think of good like phrases to make the patient feel comfortable. If you like sprayed them with water, be like, oops, sorry, I'm giving you a face wash today. Like, you know, just do the best you can with what is happening. Sometimes it's messy, this isn't the spa. I like to always joke, it's not quite a spa, the dental spa. Um, we're trying to you know, make sure medically that we're cleaning the teeth properly and then at the end polishing to make the teeth smooth and so plaque is less likely to adhere, right? So I don't know, I hope that helps. Again, I am not an instructor by any means of dental hygiene. I hope those tips helped you, if they did. Please like and subscribe if they didn't. I'm so sorry, I tried really hard. Uh, that's it, peace, love, and teeth.